was your reaction when you got the part and why did you want to be part of Star Wars? My reaction when I got the part was pure shock and awe. I wasn't even able to get any other words out, but okay, cool. <laughs> Just on a Zoom with Deborah Chow. I actually thought I would be auditioning again, but um, yeah, I was super overwhelmed too. Like I know how, how large Star Wars is and how much it means to so many people. And so coveted, exactly. So um, yeah. All right, now tell us a little bit about Reva and the Inquisitors. So a little about Reva, she is dangerous, deadly, fierce. Um, she's a Jedi hunter, an Inquisitor. Um, one of four total, all subordinates of Darth Vader, and they all have their own ways of doing things. Um, and she is serious about a job and she'll do whatever she has to, to get the job done. And how did it feel to put on that costume for the first time? Did you feel empowered as Reva? I did, I did. Uh, actually the costume does a lot of work for you. So putting on the costume for the first time, you know, it just makes you stand a certain way. Um, and also like, I found myself being really like misty at it. I was like, wow, like I'm wearing a cape. It's crazy. That's great. Mm -hmm. um, how did director uh, Deborah Chow help you define Rufa? Deborah Chow, our director, was really great about inviting me into the process of working on um, and developing who Reva would be. Um, I think it would have been very easy for her to be like, yeah, I want to hear your thoughts, but like, shh, you know, but she really cared about um, what I cared about. And so, you know, step by step and piece by piece is how Reva got, Reva got her braids and sort of, you know, just the way in which we did certain things that people will see later in the series. Um, and I'm actually really grateful um, for Deborah for being a, a safe place on this. And speaking of Deborah, what kind of set did she have and how is it working with her and the crew? You know, I always say that, you know, the way a set works and feels is a top down situation. And she leads gracefully, free of ego um, and very happy to be there. And she spends so much time, you know what I mean? Leading by example around the clock. Even now, as we get closer to it, there are things, you know, that she still has to be in on along the way. And she always shows up. She always shows up her best self, um, willing to give. And you just want to rise and meet her um, where she is all the time. And tell us about working with Ewan McGregor. Working with Ewan McGregor is like super wild. Um, and he's just so gracious and a wonderful human being. He really leads by example as well. He's been doing this a long time and we only get to do what we're doing today because of the foundation that he laid nearly 20 years ago. And so to be in Star Wars, but to be in Star Wars with Ewan is um, more than I could have asked for. And what was your training like? And what part of the training did you like the best? Our training was very involved. We had four months of training before we ever even touched set. Um, and that was like five days a week of like typical workouts, running and strength training. And then three days a week on top of that, we'd have Jedi school, which was all about core strength and stunt work and hanging in wires and flipping and how to flip into a power pose and all those kinds of things. Um, and it was, it was really involved, but I think the thing that I appreciated most about it was that we all did it together, though we might've been in separate, you know, pods in the room working on different things. It's nice to look over and see someone who's going just as hard as you are. Um, and so you definitely don't want to be the weak link in the chain. And finally, what can viewers expect from this series? Viewers can expect 
a wild ride, a six part series that absolutely feels like a feature. And um, I hope they like it. I hope they enjoy it. I had fun making it. I think I can say we all really had fun making it. And so it's gonna belong to them very soon.